you know, again, good solid win by our group. Uh, six turnovers as a team. You know, I, I, we love seeing that. We talk about it a lot, taking care of the ball. We've been pretty good at that. We made our free throws. Uh, you know, De'Aaron Fox was was very special again. And, uh, you know, but, you know, that's on an individual note. Uh, but I thought the team – uh, really uh, put up another another solid game like we've been seeing out of the group uh, lately. Uh, I thought the bench guys, guys who haven't gotten uh, minutes lately or been out of the rotation, did a really nice job of stepping up, and, and we needed them to on the back end of a back to back, uh, and with you know missing uh, missing guys as well. So a lot of a lot of credit to them. Uh, but yeah, another good, solid team win uh, by our group. And the, the offensively, really nice job all night. And defensively, where we constantly talk about consistency, like we had uh, two really good quarters of defense and two pretty poor. And that's where we got to keep looking to, to make improvements and get better at. Um, but happy with the win. Start with James Ham. Hey, Luke, you, you talked about it when you first took this job that De'Aaron Fox is the head of the snake and he'll take you as far as you're going to go. Um, just how much are you enjoying watching him become a star like right in front of your eyes? It, it is, it's fun to watch. It really is. Um, and, you know, to, to, to see him continue to, to figure things out, to see him continue to grow as a leader both vocally and uh leading by example with his play um is is a lot of fun and you know he's in a he's in a good place right now the team's in a good place right now um and we you know we're going to keep you know use you know trying to use this momentum to move forward and and we know that we got to get a lot better but when De'Aaron's playing like this uh you know we're 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 a pretty good team yeah, Luke, can you kind of just speak to the uh, oddness of the day today because of the deadline? And once you got past, you know, two o'clock or so, maybe it all became about the game for you guys and knowing who you had. But then seeing that roll over into the game and see you guys come off and score a season high in points. Yeah, uh, again, I give our guys a lot of credit because we talk, I talked about it to the group a little bit uh, in the pregame. Um, and acknowledging the fact that, look, there's some guys that aren't in this locker room that have been with us. And um, as professionals, what we have to do is, is get our mind wrapped around the next 48, you know, the next 48 minutes of basketball. And we got tomorrow as an off day and we got to, you know, we got to really go out there and, and give everything we have. And I thought the group really did a nice job of that because it's not always easy, uh, especially for young players. And we have young players. Like when you have an experience, uh, trades or guys leaving in their locker room, their locker is right next to you. And, you know, it, there is, there's some, you know, that's an uncomfortable feeling at times, but our, our guys were very professional about it and they came out tonight and, uh, and played a really good game. Yeah, Luke, just where have you seen De'Aaron's growth the most when it, in terms of his leadership ability, I know he had big games last season, but it seems like he's taken a step in that regard as well. Yeah, I, I think um, from a leadership standpoint, really understanding, um, you know, when the team needs him to to, uh, to take over for stretches or uh, when the team needs him to come up with a big defensive stance, you know, even, you know, throughout this last run, that little run we've been on in the fourth quarter, you'll, you'll see him. Uh, you know, guarding the other team's best player uh, or, you know, fighting through screens and getting a steal for us. Uh, you know, the way he's communicating uh, in the huddles. Uh, you know, when I come step into the huddles, a lot of times, you know, he's already talking about whatever's going on out there. And, uh, you know, that's that, that's really what we're looking for. It's what we're, you know, we're, we're always uh, encouraging and, and pushing. Um and, you know, it, when everybody, when all your teammates respect you the way that they respect De'Aaron uh, and, and he's playing like that and speaking like that uh, and backing up those actions, uh, that's, that's, a good, that's, a, that's a good recipe for, for success. And George. Uh, 
My bad. Well, Fox and Halliburton combined for uh, 65 points tonight. It was Halliburton that really got himself going early on, and then Fox got himself going in the second quarter. How does that open up Fox's game when Tyrese or another king is able to establish themselves early on so Fox can kind of ease into things? Well, yeah, I think more, uh, you know, for tonight's game, um, I think more importantly it was – you know, we had, like I said, pregame, we had some lineups out there that haven't played together. And, and Golden State, they, they got some talented guys on that team, and they're big, their wings are athletic, and, you know, they were hitting threes. And we were at a part of the rotation uh, where De'Aaron was on the bench and Harrison was coming out and Buddy was on the bench. Um, and, you know, for Tyrese to step up like that and, and kind of recognize the same thing that we're talking about with De'Aaron, uh and make those type of plays and just kind of keep us right there and keep us going uh, while we could get some rest for, for some of those uh, main guys who play heavy minutes. Um, I mean, that's why it's so hard to win in this league. I mean, that's kind of what you need. You need multiple guys that can, that can do that. And then on different nights, you know, you need uh, buddy to step up and hit 10 threes and then Harrison to have, a, and, and that's how you kind of, that's how you start racking, uh, wins up is when it's, you know, it's different people stepping up. But Tyrese, yeah, he stepped up big tonight in that, in that role. Jason Jones. Jason Jones. Oh, I didn't, even, I didn't know my hand was still up. <laughs> but I'll ask another thing. You, know, you look at the way uh, the – what Rashawn is doing right now. This, this, like, this is not no longer – it's been a few weeks now of him stringing these together. Just what is that doing just in terms of your energy on both ends when you pair that with the way De'Aaron's playing and Tyrese? Does it feel like it was there in that seven of eight winning stretch? It, it does because, it, it, you know, the, the good thing about what it feels like is – it's not like we're just playing out of our mind basketball right now. Like we're just playing good, solid team basketball and different guys are, are, you know, there's some continuity with the guys that have been here. They're, you know, they're getting, they're getting each other shots. They know where, uh, where to do that at, you know, different guys are having big night. The Aaron's uh, been pretty steady as, you know, as far as being, being able to take over at certain parts of the game. Um, so, it just, you know, it just feels like a, a, a team that's that's playing well together. And, uh, you know, that's it's you know, that's what you're trying to build. Uh, you don't want to ride those roller coasters that we've been on, you know, where it's this and that and you win five and you lose five. So, um, you know, playing like this is where we have to make the standard. So, you know, even if we come out and lose a game. You know, it, it's it, it's you know, it's one game, and then we because of the way we're playing, the consistency we're playing with, uh, those you know, we cut that off sooner uh, rather than later. So, yeah, the team, the, 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 the team's in a good place. Hey, coach, uh, well, no, Darren, he's been averaging about nine to ten trips to the uh, charity strike in the last 10 11 games. Uh, he's shooting a little bit higher than his uh season average on the free throw line. He, he did talk about it, you know, before that, you know, he's when he's going in, he's trying to score, but, you know, to get the icing on the cake, that's that's a plus. Uh, what would you attribute it to that? Um, and and it looked like, you know, he's getting favorable calls when he when he cuts up to, uh, you know, go downhill. Well, I, I don't I, – I love when De'Aaron's in attack mode. I think he's like – like I said, he's in, he's in a place right now where he's – he's the game feels like it's really slowing down to him, at least from what I'm seeing from the sidelines. So, um, you know, he, he's doing a real nice job of attacking the defense and taking what's there, getting to his spots and, and getting the shots he wants. And when you're playing like that uh, and you have some of the ability that he has, it's tough to, to, uh, uh, to, to keep him in front. Um, so, you know, I don't even know if they're favorable calls. I mean, I, it's, I don't know how you guard De'Aaron Fox without putting hands on him when he's playing at that level. Uh, and then, you know, as he's been making more of his jump shots, now defenses have to uh, extend even even further onto him, which opens up more space. So, uh, you know, he, he's, you know, we want him in attack mode. He's in attack mode. And, and we're, another thing he's doing really nice right now is knocking down those free throws when he, when he does get fouled. Hi, Luke. Congrats on the win, sir. Um, you know, when you look at, at De'Aaron and, and Tyrese and kind of the way, 
just the way they look at each other, the way they're talking about each other, there's a lot of respect and admiration. And it seems like, um, you know, maybe even some optimism about what, what they might be able to do together here. How exciting for you, you know, as a coach and, and for the Kings as, as an organization is it to see kind of that budding relationship between the two of them? Yeah, it's very exciting. And they should be optimistic about about um, what they can do because, um, like I said, you know, we're, we're, the, the future uh, of this group is going to be uh, is going to be bright and it is exciting. And, and to, to uh, you know, to go through battles and go through hard times together uh, is what really hardens you for uh, what it eventually takes to get into the playoffs. And then once you're there to ultimately win playoff series, you know, it, it takes experience and it takes fighting through hard times and trusting each other. And, uh, you know, you to, for, you know, got, you know, for our group to be able to go through that together is, uh, is a good, is a really good thing. Hey, Luke, uh, obviously playing well now, we've seen the ups and the downs over the course of the season. My question is, um, do you freely or do your players freely talk about, you know, running, making a run at the playoffs? I mean, you're two and a half games out. You beat a team that you needed to beat uh, because they were holding on to the 10 spot. Um, do you guys even discuss that at all? Because I know you said whether you win or lose, it's about the quality of play. But yeah. that's got to be a goal for those players, at least, that they've talked about it freely. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's 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 um... – it's a long-term goal for us. It's what we want. You know, it's what we're playing the season for. Um, but as far as when we're in, in a group, no, we don't, we don't talk about it. I'm sure the players do. Players always do. I did as a player. Um, but when we're in group meetings and we're watching film and we're doing pregame prep, it's all about what we're trying to get done uh, right now and what we need to get better at and how we're going to get better at it. Uh, you know, I, I, I just, you know, you start talking about those, that the playoffs and whatever, whatever months down the road, you're just adding more, more uh, pressure and more, um, whatever you want to call it, uh, into the equation. And, and we don't need that. We need to keep things simple. We have to understand what we need to do, how we're going to do it, and then work at getting better at it. Last question for Coach Christos Coach, congratulations on the win. What is the most impressive part on the arms, the arms uh, game from your perspective? Um, right now, I think that, um, the, the way he's controlling the game, uh, from that point guard position, as far as, um, you know, when to, when to be in attack mode, when, uh, when to get teammates involved, uh, he's really, uh, that's a skill that takes a lot of time to develop at this level and, uh, to see him kind of, uh, lead and control, uh, you know, control what what our team is doing is uh really exciting uh that he's starting to he's starting to feel that and gain that experience of what that's like and what that takes and how to do it